guys good morning my name is Siddharth welcome back to Siddharth world your own channel and in this channel we do a lot of tech videos and stories and other motivational talks so if you're new to the channel please do watch the videos and like and do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you get a lot more new content on this channel as we put in <clears throat> so in our last video which has already been live in the channel, we talked about how leadership in, uh, impacts the organization, how leadership impacts the team, how leadership impacts the individual capacity. So it was a three part series on individual leadership, on team leadership, on organizational leadership. So somebody who leads the organization like a CEO, what, a, what how he brings that impactness into the organization. Whereas a person who is a manager in a team and leading a small team, within that organization is how important it is and in an individual capacity how you need to build as an individual the leadership qualities that can take you to the next further levels so to make that context very much clear the first and foremost thing you need to understand is what are the what are the leadership skills that you need to have in it so in this video we are going to talk about the nine skills that you need to have as a leadership or to develop your leadership skills you need to have these nine things inside you so without making any delay let's begin the first important thing that you need to have as a leader is discipline you need to be disciplined in work you need to be disciplined in your activity you need to be disciplined in your day-to-day -day work if you don't have that discipline of and commitment of work then you are going to lose on discipline means you know that you have to pick a thing you have to do that so you need to discipline yourself you need to maintain yourself you need to focus oriented discipline is about making yourself accountable for things that you are doing and that can impact things so these things impact because if a leader is not responsible if a leader is not disciplined the whole thing don't go because the value system goes away you know, so that is what important aspect that you need to understand that as leader the first thing you need to is you need to be disciplined on your own work you need to be disciplined inside you you need to have that guts you need to have that courage of going and putting the things further and making it work that's discipline point number two you have to start taking on more projects example you cannot say oh i did one project now i'm responsible enough and i have the leadership skills no because every new project will demand a different set of leadership skills and every new project has got a different set of requirements you need to understand which are the leadership skills which is working and every project to project teams to team leadership style has to change so the more project you take the more your leadership skills will develop and projects in different categories within the same organization you can take different categories of projects different kinds of client projects and that will give you an enhancement in the work that's going to give you the focus the ability to build more and more leadership because you have more diversified types of people in your team so you don't have that same team but as you lead by projects to projects you lead by examples you lead by examples third learn to follow learn to follow in the sense you need to learn the art and the skill of following somebody's pre-done work or somebody's curated method not always i am saying but when you're beginning you need to follow some people's people's guidelines people's advice when you are into a leadership role you talk to people people suggest something you need to identify whether it will work or it will not work if it works you follow that because that has already obtained results so definitely that is going to help you in obtaining result but it is not going to hamper you that is the one important aspect that you need to learn that following is does not making you down but following is making you grow and grow bigger moving on to the next one develop situational awareness situational awareness means you need to know what is that situation and how you need to be aware of that situation for example you're developing a project you know that there can be a, a disaster there can be an accident you need to develop situational awareness that in which situation you're working 
you need to know see situational awareness can be like you're working on a project and there is a deadline so deadline is a situational awareness that by this deadline we will have to submit the project deadline of failure you know that if you will get late or if you get delayed the project might extend and then there is a loss of financial constraint loss of many things so that is a situational awareness so each and every situation where are we now where are we hiding what are the things that we are doing what are the things that is not going wrong so all these are situational awareness you have to pick the thing that at that situation what is that issue is causing and then you will have to put that into work you'll have to rectify that so that everybody in the team knows about that situation and knows how to deal with that because they should not be coming into surprise fifth one inspire others you need to you are as a leader you are getting inspired you need to also inspire your team you need to inspire people inspire in the sense to just go and speak out inspire in the sense inspire them by your analytical skill inspire your people by motivational skills motivate them look you can do it you know you don't feel low that you cannot do it mistakes happens let's do it together that's the motivation or that's telling people inspiring them it's like yes you have that ability to do it that's why you should do this you should take this challenge people might show low confidence you need to push them to that level of confidence that no you can do it let's do it together let's bring it let's do that let's this so that impact itself is going to bring a lot of benefit to you now you need to break that barrier of people thinking constraint versus people thinking this now keep learning keep learning in the sense as a leader you need to know different kinds of learning patterns what as a leader you need to also see what other leaders are doing what other leaders are doing beautifully that you can learn from them you can learn the art of it there are many successful people who have failed in their life but they have done something even marvelous so you can understand that leadership style you can imbibe that but not copy imbibe that into your way of working but bring that successfulness bring that try like somebody who knows how to keep the team happy and cheerful and inspired you are inspiring but you can even bring that you know so keep learning learning in the sense you can learn new technologies new art new skills new way of doing that work and in an even reduced time in a reduced cost environment so the work is not suffering but the quality of work is improving 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 and that improvement in the quality of work brings you to a next level of leadership quickly finishing to number 7 empower your team part the teammates empower empower means don't just keep all the powers to yours no i am a leader i lead this team so whatever i decide that should happen no empower them give them the power to take the decision whichever task they are doing if you have given them a task give them the power related to that task that they can take the decision of doing whether i can take this or i cannot take this let them be if they take the task if the task fail they will be responsible but at least they will have that sense of responsibility that oh, okay because if you keep everything to yourself and they don't have any power to take any decision they will say okay fine why why am i worried if i do this if something goes wrong i am not responsible my leader is responsible so the entire accountability comes to you no you are as a team principal you are responsible give them the power okay i give you the power you decide which is correct which is wrong but make sure if you go wrong you will have to be accountable for that that is empowerment empower give them empowerment give them the give them uh, put in your team some female candidates and empower them to work and empower them to accomplish the target that's where they will get that confidence of doing something and being accountable because they are accountable for that activity resolve conflicts definitely when a new when a team is constituted when a team is working on an activity there will be a conflict there will be an arguments there will be fights there will be all kinds of things as a leader it is your responsibility to look out where the team is getting diluted where the team is getting this and you have to bring them together 
because people's mindset are not so strong that they will be able to work they cannot work because there is a difference of opinion always there is a difference of culture language barriers thinking thought process so if you want to lead a successful team you need to resolve conflicts by ways of setting the team goal setting the team culture setting the team ide- ideologies and you have to focus on that so what happen when these three things comes into picture then everybody in the team is equalized into that like everybody in the team is structured in that same way so everybody's thought process everybody's mind process everybody's work style remains the same because that is the team's requirement if you don't set requirement you will have conflicts and you will have to keep resolving the conflicts so resolving conflicts is okay but resolving conflicts takes a lot of time henceforth you will have to do something called put the goals settings agendas and the culture of the team and say this is what the culture of the team is if this team culture has to be adopted by everybody including the leader itself then the whole team is now in the same pitch so the conflict the issue of conflict will go down to very very less numbers last but not the least be a discerning listener which means be a good listener the way everybody of us loves to speak as in when given a chance we love to speak but we lack listening we need to listen more because the more we listen the more new innovative ideas we get listen to each and every team member if they call go tell them okay i have this much time talk to them understand them what they're trying to convey they might be inspired from you they might be getting hundreds of ideas but they want to tell somebody don't hesitate to listen because the more you listen the more you make better decision and because that is improving your decision making skills and decision making skills eventually is increasing your capabilities of becoming a good leader good decision maker and good uh, product builder and other things so if you want to be a good le- leader if you want to build your leadership skills on good strong pillars always remember follow these nine principles and you will become a successful leader because you have all the qualities that a successful leader should have and what nitty gritty should be taken that you know and that adjustments you know and because of that you are going to get that platform you are going to get that benefit of access so with that in mind i thank you all for watching this blog and please do watch this nine videos nine points in one single go and please do like the video subscribe the channel press the bell icon so that you never miss an update and keep watching the channel and in your channel there are a lot more contents coming on there are some live streams also coming on maybe related to games and all so people who love gaming and all for them also i'm going to make a lot of techniques a lot of videos linux gaming videos i'm going to make and all that so kindly watch it and have fun enjoy and this is that sign off for now have a lovely saturday morning when you watch this blog and we will be moving on to the new blogs new topics and will be faster enough and this is the first time we are doing in 4k 24 frames per second so do tell us your choice your review that whether you like this videos in 4k or you like in 1080 so it's a combination of 1080 full high hd full hd and 4k videos we will be putting but it depends on that quality and technology that we check because we see how it works and then based on that we do that so please do like it and please do show your support because we need your support in order to grow on youtube so thank you very much and i shall see you with the next vlog and on the next streams coming up today thank you very much and have fun have a lovely saturday morning stay safe stay healthy love everyone and do what is right for you and not getting into trouble thank you very much